it's been forever since I've made a video or even posted or put anything about making a video for God knows how many months. I recently wore this look to a prayer for a family function. If you guys like to see how I achieved this look, then please keep watching. Alright guys, so to begin with, I've already primed my eyes with Urban Decay Primer Potion and I've already filled in my brows with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Dark Brown. So now I'm going to prime my eyes with a new product that I got with BH Cosmetics. It's their Smooth Canvas Long Wear Shadow Primer in the color Fawn. Then I'm going to go in with a matte brown and a fluffy crease brush. Just as a transition color, I'm going to start on the outer corner of the crease and kind of work my way into the inner crease. Doing the same for the other eye. From my Naked Smoky palette, I'm taking the color Whiskey with a more concentrated crease brush. I'm going to focus it on the outer third of my lid and I'm also going to pack it in the inner tear duct first third of my lid as well. I'm just going to go back and blend it with the fluffier side of the brush. And to clean up the edges, I'm going to go back with that first color and that fluffy crease brush just to soften up the edges. I'm taking my Supernova palette from BH Cosmetics and I'm going to take the color Vega and take a flat brush, just apply it in the center of my lid. I'm just packing it on and I'm going to do the same with the other lid. Now just to blend the two colors together and make it look a little bit more seamless, I'm taking that same brush that I used to apply the color Whiskey and I'm going in to blend the edges. Going back to my Smoky palette, I'm taking the color 13 and applying it with a eyeshadow brush to my brow bone, concentrating it mainly right under where that arch is and then blending it down. I lost a bit of the transition color, so I'm going back with that first matte brown and my crease brush just to fluff it out a little bit. Before I move on to my eyeliner, which is the Inglot number 77, and I'm taking that with one of my new BH Cosmetics eyeliner brush before I start to make my wing. I didn't really include how I really make the wing fully, I, you know, edited a lot out. But if you guys want me to make a video on how I do my wing eyeliner, then please leave a comment below and I will try to get that out to you as soon as possible. Here I'm taking the LA Girl concealer that I love and I'm just applying it and brushing it out with a concealer brush just to get that really nice, clean, straight line. Now to prime my face, I like to use the Nivea Men's Post Shave Balm in the original. Now for my pores, um, a good dupe to the Pore Professional is definitely the NYX Pore Filler. It's a little bit different consistency, but it definitely does get the job done. To color correct, I'm going to be using my new PH Cosmetics Concealer in Light. I'm taking up a peachy color and a salmon color as well, just to make sure that the blend of the two will cancel out all the under eye darkness that I have. For today's foundation, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me in Dewy Smooth. I took way too much more product than I needed, so I made that ridiculous face and I decided to keep it in because why not? I'm applying it with a foundation brush first to make sure I get the product where I want it before I use the new beauty blender that I got from BH Cosmetics as well. It's called the Precision Beauty Sponge, I think, and it's my first time using it. Um, I definitely am more of a beauty blender girl, but I decided to, you know, give this one a try. Um, as you can see, the beauty blender, well, this beauty sponge has a precision end, so you can get crevices a little bit better. Didn't know how I felt about it, I think I'm gonna have to give it a few tries before I get used to it. Now and then. 
Always make sure to apply some foundation right at your jaw and please blend down to your neck. You do not want to look like you are wearing a mask even if it is the same color. It's good to make sure that you blend down. And just finishing up, I am just bouncing the sponge around my face to make sure I have a flawless airbrushed finish. As well as the neck, it's good to make sure that you get your hairline blended really well as well. You also don't want to look like you are tanned or have self-tanner on and you didn't blend it well. Just to cover up some pimples and little blemishes that I have, I was going back with a little bit more foundation and I noticed that it was not powerful enough so I did go back with a little bit of the LA Girl Pro Concealer. And I just blended that out with the sponge as well. And there you go. I am using the Pro Concealer by LA Girl once again in the color Creamy Beige. I'm just taking the Micro Mini Beauty Blender here and going to be blending it in under my eyes and I applied to the middle of my face to just give a little bit more of a bright and awake look to my face. Bridge of my nose, forehead, chin, and cupid's bow. Just to blend it a little bit more, I am going back with the sponge just to make sure that there are no harsh lines and everything is seamless. And to highlight a little bit more because it was not doing it for me, I did go back with the color porcelain with the same foundation or with the same concealer and blended away as well. To contour, I'm using beautiful bronze and applying it to right under my cheekbones, my hairline the bridge of my nose um, on either side, and my jawline. And I'm using the sponge to blend that away. It may take a little while to blend it, which is why the video was edited. Take your time, but be sure to be gentle with your face, because after all, it is your face. Don't beat the crap out of it, please and thank you. To clean up under my cheekbone where that bronzer is, I am just taking that lighter color of concealer and I want it to have a little bit more of a dramatic contour. So I'm blending in and blending away those harsh lines. Now I'm taking Ben Nye's Luxury Powder in Banana and I'm going to be setting under my eyes, my forehead, my chin, my nose, and my upper lip. I'm just going to let it bake for a bit. And I'm also going to be applying it right under that contour to clean up the line even further. I did notice that I applied a little bit too much around the mouth, so I'm just taking that precision end of the sponge and cleaning up a little bit so it's not too harsh and it's a little bit more blended. After it has set, after baking, I am taking this new amazing fan brush that I got from BH Cosmetics and I'm brushing away all the excess powder off my face. To set the contour with some powder, I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit in the color Java and just applying that with a fluffy angled brush. I'm also applying it to the hairline and basically everywhere that I have the contour concealer. I'm next taking the color Banana from the same contour kit just to furthermore set my under eyes in place with a fluffy brush. 
Next, taking my Beige Cosmetics Professional Blush Palette, I am taking this really nice darker salmon coral color and applying it with a blush brush to my cheekbones. Here I'm taking a shimmery eyeshadow color that I wanted to use with my fan brush as highlight. I absolutely love the way this turned out. So I'm applying that on the high points of my cheekbones, my cupid's bow, and down the bridge of my nose. Now that I've finished with my face and I've got my concealer done, I'm going to take the same color whiskey with that pencil brush and go under my eyes along the lash line just to make sure that the look comes together. And now I'm taking my all-time favorite pencil eyeliner by Urban Decay in Perversion to line my lower waterline and tight line my upper waterline as well. Next I'm taking my all-time favorite mascara in Full Exposure by Smashbox and giving a generous coat to both of my lashes and finishing the bottom as well. For lips, I'm taking my Nivea Milk and Honey Lip Balm, my all-time favorite, and letting that sit in before I go in with the NYX Full Throttle Lipstick in Kiss the Dust. I wanted to make sure that I kept my lips a little bit more neutral and calm. Now, my hair is not matching my face, so let's take care of that, shall we? There we go, much better. To finish up, I'm just putting on some earrings to match my outfit. And I decided to put on a fake nose ring as well before setting my face with my All Nighter Urban Decay Setting Spray. If you guys enjoyed my video and would like to see more of my face, then please subscribe and give me your feedback. I'd love to hear back from you guys. Comment below and let's have a conversation.